Some games live up to the hype, and other games turn out to be total duds. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the games that made us dream about their greatness, only to let us down in the most horrible way possible. If a game offers a gameplay that isn't as exciting as marketed, or its graphics and mechanics are a total mess, then we can surely consider it a major fail. In what follows, you'll find out the six biggest gaming disasters of 2016. People were over the moon about this game's initial concept. It was ambitious and sounded like great fun. They also loved the idea of throwing their support behind a smaller development team with a big bright future ahead of them. The launch of the game was one of the most anticipated of all time. No Man's Sky, however, spectacularly failed to live up to fans' expectations, being just another sandbox type of game, with nothing really special about it. The majestic creatures from the trailer and the exciting gameplay presented are traits nowhere to be found. We'll see if they can atone for their sins with future updates. This game certainly was divisive. Despite basically being broken at launch and riddled with bugs and glitches, The Division set launch day records for Ubisoft and there's even going to be an eponymous movie starring Jake Gyllenhaal. They broke records as far as being a new IP. Unfortunately, early hiccups left a bad taste in the mouth of a lot of players. Ubisoft seems to have frustrated their audience once again with a game that some would consider broken on launch. Still probably gonna catch the flick though, because after all, Jake Gyllenhaal is Donnie Darko. The third title in the Mafia series launched recently and was met with mixed reviews. There are certain things that influence the game's reception, such as the navigation features, which didn't have the luxury of GPS due to the setting. Anyway, this fact doesn't seem to have been enough to woo gamers, since the expectations were set so high. There's definitely some fun to be had in Mafia 3 before the game makes its inevitable walk towards the bargain bin but a lot of gamers still feel it could have been much better. The first Titanfall game took a lot of us by surprise, giving a breath of fresh air to the FPS genre and a solid alternative to the battlefields of duty. For a follow-up to a new IP, it did very well, and left people hungry for a sequel where some of the little problems would be fixed. Unfortunately, that's not quite how it panned out, as Titanfall 2 did very poorly in sales, being overshadowed by Battlefield and Call of Duty. Additionally, the plain art style and the lackluster marketing budget on the part of EA may have put off some consumers too. If you're Capcom and you're releasing a new incarnation of a classic series, it's almost near to impossible to completely mess it up that's until you make the decision to only release a small fraction of the actual game. The fans noted how there was very little variety in characters, and this limited the gameplay severely. All these shortcomings made the online servers of the game incredibly underpopulated, and finally, barely anyone even ended up playing the game. Another hugely anticipated game in a classic series, Star Fox Zero HD was released on the Wii U to less than favorable reviews. Critics disapproved of the game's awkward controls, length, and similarities it had to other titles in the series. Ultimately, the game offered nothing fresh and seriously let down fans. The game critic Jim Sterling even mentioned that Star Fox Zero HD was tiresome to finish because of the bad controls, and accused Nintendo of resorting to gimmicks to sell their game. This was our poop list featuring the six biggest gaming disasters of 2016, and we hope you've enjoyed our video. If you did, please press that like button as we do appreciate it and it does help us immensely. You can also post some other titles that you think we may have missed in the comments below, because we do try to read pretty much everything. Now would also be a good time to encourage you to subscribe, because we upload new videos all the time. Subscribing will keep you up to date with all of our latest content. You can also check out FragHero.com for more gaming related articles. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day guys.